starting my life coaching business, Mm -hmm. which at the time was really something I was doing for me and for myself. Every, I was like on a personal development journey for myself, trying to rebuild my life. And it just kind of happened where I got reconnected with a friend I hadn't spoken to in a while. And she kind of talked to me about what she was going through. And I shared with her what mindset and emotional structures I was using for myself to help myself through some difficult times. And she kind of tried some stuff on that I was telling her about. She called me back. She was like, Melanie, there's a way that you speak. I can't explain it. Like I I got what you said and I implemented it and everything is changing. My relationship's turning around. I feel so different. Like I've talked about you to friends of mine. I've got friends that want a session with you. And at this point I'd never had, I'd never done a paid coaching call in my life. I had to Google price to figure out what was right. And I I made a decision. I was charging $100 per session and I had a word of mouth only business. So only referrals. I didn't have any social media. I didn't have a a website. I didn't have anything. People just sent bank transfers and I was the invisible coach. It was a referral only and I gave 20% uh, referral commission on $100 sessions. And I built a six figure business that way the first year that I started. And it was crazy because the referrals just kept coming and they were coming for all different reasons. So someone may have started with me for relationship coaching but then she would have said to her friend, oh, I know someone that could help you really get confidence in this area. And this person would come into my life with this specific issue and the coaching would come. And I just, the more I led myself, the more extraordinary people kind of were led and guided to me. And I started building this business. I fell in love with coaching and mentoring, but it wasn't really scalable because it was one-on-one. Everything I did was one-on-one. Yeah. And so I started wondering like, how, how do you scale this thing? How does it become more? And so I started doing masterminds, uh, very small masterminds at first and very small group coaching programs. And then one day the Alpha Femme brand came through. I had tried a couple of different brands, but nothing had really keyed off. This was in 2013. I started in like 2016, 17. I went online with Alpha Femme. I opened my first ever Facebook group and things really started to, to move. All of a sudden I had a hundred thousand dollar launch on the internet and started teaching people you know, the energetics of referrals and building a sustainable business through customer experience and referrals. And then my business started to grow. My social media started to grow. And so still to this day, we still don't have an actual website. Everything that we do is through connection, relationships, referrals. Every single thing I do is is built this way. But we have now since 2017, which is when Alpha Femme came to be on, online, we've now built like oh, an almost $70 million brand which is out of this world with yeah. it's all done through energetics and very a very unconventional approach to business yes yes I, I love it and I love that it the thread that pulled through all of this was connection right mm-hmm. and it's so timely that we're having this conversation Melanie because I believe that with the shifts that are happening in 2023 a lot of people are shifting back to wanting to buy through relationship, through a very consultative approach. And I feel that uh, the internet got very explosive and transactional over the last couple of years, which in some ways is great and it's fun and things go really fast and you know all of that, but you do lose a little bit of the magic that happens through connection. And so I would love for you to share some of the things that you feel you did well in that process when you talk about building this scalable growth through connection and relationships and what were some of the things that you felt you did well uh, in those early stages of the business that allowed you to then take that concept and, and scale it so one of the things i've always noticed even from the beginning is that i tend to like to go just a little bit in a different direction there than where everybody else is going like when i see traffic i try to i try to look for another side road <laughs> And Amen. So what I started seeing in in the traffic of what I was hearing on social media a lot is a, a lot of external growth strategies, a lot of external growth strategies, which I'm all about. But it felt like if everybody's talking about external growth strategies and so many people are buying into external growth tra- strategies, mm-hmm. why isn't everyone just succeeding? There has to be something missing. If external growth strategies are the big thing, are the the traffic jam, it's where everybody's going and not everybody's succeeding, what's missing? And so I wondered what happens, how did I build this with absolutely no external growth strategy is all internal. My ability to connect with a stranger, my ability to 
take care of a person and care about the client, that the business has grown basically through my ability to connect with people, my emotional intelligence, my communication, my deliverables, like everything is internal. And so I created a very much almost like a mirror effect to what the traffic jam was showing me and where everyone was going outward in their strategy i went completely inward and started working on emotional intelligence communication just everything that makes a person stand out vocabulary storytelling things that are very like personal to a person and what i found is that people were starting to really be magnetized not to what i do but who i am and what i do just was just intriguing and good and great. And I was very yeah. good at what I did, but a lot of people are very good and great at what they do. And so yes. why do you choose a person on the internet? And so what started happening is people were choosing me based on who I was and then realizing how great I was on the back end, which created this incredible, again, referral loop system, which was kind of yeah. extraordinary. But I would say the biggest thing that I do and that I help my clients do is create this really strong internal power where no matter what is going on outside, whether people are talking about a pandemic or a recession or whatever it is that you cultivated so much strength on the inside that you're kind of shielded from yeah. the danger because yeah. the strength is here already. Yeah.